Ladies and gentlemen, have a look at this beautiful, one of the most advanced GPUs on the market today, the 4090. This 4090 came in for repair due to shipping damage, which as you can see, has developed a giant crack. On top of that, this card seems to have a melted connector to make it more interesting, so no problem there. That's what I thought at first, but that's just the beginning. While I was removing this warranty sticker, which is fake by the way, and everything was normal with the exception of the screws being a little too tight. Then, two screws refused to come out at all, so I had to soak them with alcohol and that made the removal possible but not pleasant. And that was just the beginning. With the back cover and the heatsink out of the way, what I noticed was that the cooling pads were only covering half the memory chips. And the core, well, the core is completely fried as you can see. There were other components on the board that were also fried, but that was just the beginning. The most interesting part about this GPU is that the sticker with the serial number claims that this is a 24GB 4090. But judging by the label on the core itself and matching it up against the Tech Power Up database, this is a laptop version of a 4090 core that only supports 16GB. This is what normal 4090 24GB core looks like. Why it's not there, I don't know. My best guess is that it's a 4080 PCB with a 4090 laptop core that, according to its owner, came as a part of a pallet deal from Amazon Returns. Needless to say, this GPU is a no-fix, since there's nothing left to fix. And with that there, I hope you guys have learned something today. Hopefully this is the only example we're going to be seeing here in the US market, but I highly doubt it. So, stay tuned for more. And yes, there is more. Goodbye.